lovelies, welcome to another episode of the Zolicious Cooking Series. Today I'm going to show you how to make a mouth-watering and very yummy chicken recipe that I have called Sweet Chili Chicken Sauce. Sweet chili chicken sauce. Say it five times. Sweet chili chicken sauce. Sweet chili chicken sauce. Pasta. Sweet chicken chicken. <laughs> Sorry. Because you said pasta. Sweet chili chicken sauce. Sweet chili chicken sauce. Sweet chili okay, chicken sauce. Filled. Sweet chili chicken sauce. Sweet chili chicken no sauce. Fries. I did it. No. Okay. Dude. Yes. So I'm going to show you how to make sweet chili chicken sauce. Let me introduce you to the ingredients. For this recipe, you'd need two boneless chicken breasts, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of chili powder, three tablespoons of soy sauce, one egg, three tablespoons of corn flour, three tablespoons of ketchup, one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of hot chili sauce, two teaspoons of sugar, two seasoning cubes, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, half a cup of chopped green bell pepper, half a cup of chopped red bell pepper, half a cup of chopped onions, three garlic cloves, some sesame seeds for garnish, and vegetable oil for deep frying. So let's kick start this cooking process. Over here I have a medium sized mixing bowl and in here I have chicken breast that I have cut into bite sized chunks. So I'm just going to transfer all of my chicken breast into this mixing bowl right here. That's a lot of chicken breast, right? Okay, so in this mixing bowl here, I'm going to grate in two garlic cloves. I don't cook without garlic. You can add more if you like. You can decide to leave it out. But I must add that garlic helps add lots of flavor and aroma to whatever dish you're cooking. So always cook with some garlic. That's a delicious tip. <laughs> and also I'm going to add black pepper and chili pepper. Everything is gonna go right in. And of course some soy sauce. And I'm going to add one seasoning cube. This is chicken seasoning. It's just fried that you use chicken seasoning for chicken, right? <laughs> and finally, I'm going to throw in a sprinkle of salt just to balance out all of the other ingredients. And I'm just going to give this one very good stir to combine all of the ingredients together and ensure that all of your chicken pieces are coated with all of the ingredients added into the mixing bowl. It's going to take a little bit of time, so about 30 seconds or more. So at this point, you can either decide to marinate your chicken or just throw it into the oil and start cooking. But I advise that you marinate for at least two to three hours or preferably overnight, which is always my ideal move. For since I really don't have so much time, I'm just going to marinate this for about two to three hours before I start cooking. Okay, so I just got my chicken out of the fridge. And for those that don't know what a marinade is, it's just simply seasoning up your fish, your meat, or whatever it is you want to cook, and just putting it in the refrigerator. Please never, ever, ever marinate at room temperature. It's absolutely wrong. Shouldn't be done. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Thank you. Unacceptable. <laughs> okay, so let's go on. So the next process is just uh, I'm just going to throw in this corn flour in this second mixing bowl and I'm going to break in one egg I'm going to put in both the yolk and the white part and then I'm just going to give this a stir to combine now this is an amazing and interesting part of this recipe and I'm going to tell you why in a bit okay so this is totally combined what I'm going to do is Take my chicken pieces and just transfer it into this mix, second mixing bowl with egg mixture. And what this is going to do actually is the egg is going to help bind all of the ingredients together and then the corn flour is going to help give the chicken a very crisp exterior. And then the combination of the corn flour and the egg is going to help brown your chicken completely, give it that beautiful golden brown look. So all of my chicken pieces will go in here and Set that aside and just give this a very quick stir. It looks so slimy and yucky, like I can just literally hear it. That I don't know what sound it's making, but it's really, really slimy. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm hearing anything anyway. Like, can't you hear that? Yeah, well, the sliminess. The sliminess. Oh, 
going on in my bowl? <laughs> okay, so that is pretty much all combined. It's time to fry the chicken. <laughs> oh my gosh! Please, you guys should pay me no attention. I like to have so much fun in my kitchen whenever I'm cooking. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is. Remember my pot is already hot, I've been heating up my oil in the pot on medium heat and it's important that you bring your pot and the oil to the same temperature. If you don't have a cooking thermometer, that's okay. You can just tell by just throwing in a sprinkle of corn flour right into, you see that sizzle? Did you see that? So if it sizzles like that, then your oil is hot enough. So what I'm going to do is use my cooking tongue and take one piece of chicken and just then, Sizzling, 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 sizzling. Oh my gosh, I love the sound of that sizzle. It just makes me so happy. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw in as much chicken as my pot can take, but be careful not to overcrowd your, your pot or your pan or the oil so that the temperature of the oil doesn't drop. You want it to still remain at the right temperature so that it fries up the chicken properly cooking pretty well. I'm just going to give it a little more time so that I ensure that it cooks through completely. Just about one or two minutes. But I really like what I see. Super duper 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 duper. Excited, 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 excited. So it's time to take out the chicken. I'm just going to place it on this plate that I have lined with kitchen paper towel just to catch up the excess oil drips. So you can see that the chicken is perfectly Right now, it's golden brown, it's crunchy, it's crispy, and this is exactly how you want your chicken to be. So I'm just going to lay this here gently. Okay, so that's the first batch done. I still have a lot to go, so I'm just going to continue until I've exhausted all of my chicken. Okay, so I'm done frying all of my chicken pieces, and this is exactly how you want them to be. Golden brown and perfect and crisp and nice and yummy looking and just everything. Trust me, it's going to take you a lot of guts or grace not to finish this up before you're done making this recipe. I'm just going to set this aside and moving along, I'm just going to bring in this small mixing bowl over here and start up work on the sauce. In here, I have ketchup. I'm just going to transfer it into my mixing bowl. And here I have a chili sauce is actually habanero sauce. I got it from the store, but you can make yours at home with fresh peppers and chili peppers and stuff, but this is store-bought and it's really, really hot and very spicy. So, you might want to control the amount of hot sauce you add into this. You can take the heat, you can add as much as you can. I like my food really hot and spicy, so this is just fine. Okay. So in here, I'm also going to add sugar. It's a sweet chili sauce, right? So sugar is gonna go in here as well. And I'm going to grate in one garlic. Okay, I think that's okay. And I'll just take it off the grater. And I'm just going to add a sprinkle of salt. Salt goes with everything just to balance out all the flavors in here and just give it a quick stir to combine all of it together. Just stir, 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 and I'm just gonna set it aside. Now over here on my half burner, I have a wok and I'm just going to drizzle in about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. You can use vegetable or canola oil if you'd like. It's all up to you. So we're just going to allow this to heat up for a little bit and we'll continue with the cooking process. Oil is heated up. Now it's time to saute some onions. Now I'm going to throw in the sizzle. <laughs> I'm just going to stir fry this for about 30 seconds or so. See how I cut my onions in really large chunks? That's exactly how you want your onions cut. So that they, they look like the same, they have the same shape with the chicken and the red bell pepper and the green bell pepper that's going to go in soon. So you want to maintain a uniform shape so that your meal cooks evenly and it looks good when you are serving it. Okay? Okay, so I'll just keep stir frying so it doesn't burn. 
Okay, so next I'm going to add the green bell pepper, which has been cut also into the same size as the onions, like I said, and then the red one, turning into a very colorful dish. And I'm just going to keep stir frying for another two to three minutes, just to soften it up a bit and take away all of the crunch. No, not all of the crunch, a little bit of the crunch. You still want a little bit of the crunch in the food. I set my heat to medium low so that the food doesn't burn. Okay, so I think this is okay now. It's time to bring in the sauce. Remember the sauce I mixed up. So I'm just going to transfer it all in. This is going to be a very, 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 very yummy dish. <laughs> and I'll give it a stir. Okay, finally, I'm going to throw in all of my fried chicken pieces. Just go in one after the other. How's that going? How's that coming? This is one yummy, 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 yummy dish. So I'm just going to stir it around to ensure that all of the chicken pieces are coated with the sauce. Okay, and that's it. We're done. Done, 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 done. Here we go, guys. <laughs> now, if this is not a pretty meal, I don't know what is. Okay, so I have served my sweet chili chicken sauce with some white rice. Of course, you can serve it with pasta, either macaroni or spaghetti, or you can serve it with brown rice, or you can even have it just as is, or with some yam fries or potato fries, whatever. Just can go you serve wild. It with Eva? Certainly not. You can't serve it with Eva J dots. Now you know how to make sweet chili chicken sauce and if you're ever going to recreate this recipe, kindly send me pictures. I really, really love to see your creations. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't, just click the subscribe button below and follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook as Delicious Foods. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, keep spreading more love and not hate. Take care.